Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's very exciting vlog. Now you will have guessed from the title, the long and short of this vlog. There may be a new addition to the team which I've been keeping quiet for ooh, a couple of weeks now. So Lara's got a brand new friend and I'm just really, really excited to show them to you. So I'm actually going to rewind to a couple of weeks ago when I was at my friend Abby Bolton from TikTok Eventing's yard and I spent a weekend there. Now, if you haven't seen those vlogs, I highly recommend it because we had a weekend packed full of fun. We had a photo shoot. I rode her five star horse. But uh, yeah, we're going to go back to the last day and where I was initially going to reveal to you then. And I thought, actually, no, I'm going to eke it out for a bit longer and uh, do a whole vlog on my horse reveal today. And that's exactly what I'm giving you. So without any further ado, here's me a couple of weeks ago. Right, so I'm all packed up because my stay is over. Um... But I did say in my last vlog that I had something really, really super, super weirdly exciting, which I've been keeping a secret for a very long time. She's taking my pony away <laughs> from me. <laughs> I'm taking Harry home. Oh, which is, yeah, obviously I'm getting another, I've got, I've got a horse. I've got another horse. Ah! So I haven't showed you the fact that I've had my trailer here the whole time and that dear Harry actually we'll go back a bit we'll go back a bit when I was in Berkshire when I used to live there before I moved to Norfolk I rode for this lovely man called Andrew and I rode his horses and that's how I started in eventing and when I was riding for him we together bought Harry as a six-year-old and I rode him as a six-year-old and um, I evented him at 100. Um, and uh, yeah, then when I had to move to Norfolk, I couldn't take him with me because obviously he was Andrew's horse. So couldn't take him with me. So he went off to Ludwig Svenestor first to event at, well, I think he did a few three stars. And then see more recently he's been having a fabulous time with Abby again eventing at Intermediate so I'm really really lucky that I get to take him home with me the good thing is, is I know him um, he's a little bit different when I had him because he's a bit more established he's had a bit more training <laughs> just a little bit more training and I'm going to have to really put some time into making my own riding up to scratch because he's the complete polar opposite to Lara, aren't you, Harry? Yeah. Are you gonna miss him? Yeah. You can come see me, and then you can see him. Yes. Then you can train him for me. <laughs> Perfect. How good is that? Are you ready to come home with me, Harry? Abby looks really sad. She looks really sad. Well, at least you had one, one last fun jump on him. I did. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Ready to go? <laughs> Look at his face. Uh, He's like, I no. don't know. I don't know about this. Come on, come on, good oh. boy. Well done. Here we are. Look, it's lovely T H Scott and Son yeah. Haylage. That's the He's finest. Straight into the, the finest oh, Norfolk Haylage. Right, we'll see yeah. how he um oh, how much room he needs. Boy. Um, I'm gonna have his thing quite loose, loose. Yeah, that's fine. I've made it back and Harry, who is in there, travelled really, really well and luckily Charlotte here, you may remember Charlotte from a previous <laughs> vlog of mine, um, has come to help me just do the unloading process. So yeah, I'm going to get him off now because he travelled so well. <laughs> Right. Now let's go and put you in your new 
Lara <laughs> from the field and she knows something's wrong. She's perked up. Look, you're gonna go see Harry. This is the first reunion, Lara. Oh, 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 who's this? Be nice. That's better. Oh, look, do you remember each other? Don't know if you do yet, but, oh, you're being a tart already. <laughs> oh no, good boy, Harry. She won't, she won't be mean and you're in separate fields tonight. <coughs> Don't worry. <laughs> He's like, I've had enough of that. Right, I'm going to put you in and get Harry's field ready. Okay? Okay? <coughs> it's the little skips that she's doing. Have you had enough? Right, put you away. Wow, you're noisy. Do you like him? Oh, look at him. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? with turning Laura back out. She has not gone to say oh, hi to Harry. She's gone straight to Bonnie because she gets really protective of her. And Harry does not care less. He's over there just kind of looking, grazing. And Laura, you're, that's so rude. You haven't even gone to say hi. Oh God, you're in a sassy mood. Willow, away. <laughs> Look, she's trying to herd her, which is really bizarre. I kind of want to move out of the way though. I think she's feeling... Lara! Oh my god. So I think we can give Harry the award of uh, most chilled, most chilled newbie. He literally has just got into the field, had a little trot round, had a little graze and then chilled. Lara on the other hand is being a bit of a tit. And she is not leaving Bonnie. She's being extra, extra protective for some, for no apparent reason. And she hasn't even come to say hi to Harry yet. Luckily, Harry is very much a lone ranger and doesn't mind a little him time. Oh, what's going on there? Be careful, Fig. I've got a new horse, guys. I'm so excited and, yeah, just really excited to see what the future will hold for us. These next few weeks are all about getting Harry settled in his new home and eventually the plan is to have them all out together in one field. But that will take time because Lara has to get over herself a little bit first. He's been there, done it, got the t-shirt and um, I've really enjoyed watching him progress over the years because obviously I've known him as a six-year-old so it's so lovely that he's now come back to me have hopefully a bit of fun. So there we go. The cat is officially out the bag and Harry is home with me. He's settling in so so well I couldn't have asked for a more chilled horse. So since being home Harry and I, well I've had my first lesson on him, I went to a yard in Norfolk to have a lesson with Simon Grieve. Now Simon Grieve is the lovely gentleman who we did the horse and country tv swipe up kick on with digital horse camp with so today is my first lesson with harry i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty nervous um but i've got my body protector down there so i'm gonna put it on just for kind of peace of mind really because it's a new spooky arena with lots of spooky jumps in it isn't it but no, I'm really excited and obviously Simon, I know Simon from camp and he was really good and helpful with my situations that I found myself in with Lara 
So hopefully we won't find ourselves in any situations today and we'll just have a good lesson. But yeah, you can probably tell I'm nervous. Probably a bit quieter than normal. Oh, thank you, Harry. <laughs> you need to go, Harry. Oh yeah, I'm just having a last minute snack out. Last minute snack out. Oh hey. Mm. overview so I, I really like him and um, we need to get him on your page a little bit more so that he's yeah he's on your aids not yeah. on previous riders aids. yeah um, and get the canter so it's right yeah but when you get there he jumps really nicely it felt better at the end when yeah. he was a bit spicier when got a little bit more energy yeah which is funny because he's you would have thought he'd get tireder but in fact he started off tired and then seemed to get more spicy well, yeah exactly it's because he's having fun with yeah. me obviously yeah okay thank you it was <laughs> really really good i will be back for another i, can, I literally need to cover my face need to be <laughs> back no, for another lesson it's allowed like you know you're working hard uh, yeah trying to improve and that's that's, I think hard, got, that's hard work you can't look even though these are ventilated lovely toggy base layers so i got sweat yeah, down to my be, belly button be my stuff, yeah you should be not like wrecking like stuff like wreck. anyway say bye vlog bye bye vlog 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 <laughs> So you may be thinking, Lucy, do you own this horse or not? Well, no is the answer. No, 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 I do not own him. I have purely got the ride of him from the wonderful owner, Andrew Ayres, who I've known for like six, six, seven years now. And um, Andrew has been very, very kind to give me the ride of Harry. But in the meantime, obviously, don't worry, Lara Lee, you have not been neglected in any way, shape or form. In fact, the reason why I've got my hat on is I'm about to take her out for a lovely windy, it's actually pretty miserable out here. Mm. Uh, about to go out for a hack. So Lara is by no means out of the job at all. We're just having a good time. If anything, it's taken the pressure off her a little bit.
to show you a really exciting parcel that I received from the wonderful team at Weatherbeater. They have really, really kindly sent a big box of goodies for Harry's new winter wardrobe. So I'm going to show you today and uh, yeah, we can have a try on session together. this cooler I think it looks so smart and it's got branding here on the neck it will be perfect for traveling him to and from events and maybe even the stable but I don't he's a bit of a roller so actually I wouldn't trust him not to roll in it and get loads of poo on it so I'd like to save it for best. Weather Beater have adopted a liner system whereby you buy the liner and you buy a you know a standard medium weight rug and then you can put the liner inside to make it heavier and warmer and it's designed so when I put the medium over the top, which I'm going to do now, Comfy Tech Plus Dynamic 2 Detach Neck Medium. Technically speaking, this plus that equals heavyweight rug. A lovely rug, definitely one that I won't be putting in on now and one that he'll be wearing when he's clipped and I think the liner will be for when it's very depths of the cold winter because right now he's probably feeling quite warm so I'm actually going to start to take it off him because it's not, I mean there is a bit of a breeze today but not uh, warranting that many layers and obviously it is worth mentioning that one can attach the liner inside with these little strappy things here make sure it stays nice and secure and doesn't slip. Right, sorry if I look a little windswept and I should, I've probably still got mascara all down my face. I basically just took Lara for a quick hack up the stubble fields and it absolutely poured it down with the rain. You can't, my jacket has changed colour. It's now supper time for the horses. Now I'm supported by Red Mills and uh, luckily I had a chat with one of their wonderful, lovely, knowledgeable team about what to feed Harry on. He was fed a balancer before and they said that their Performer Care balancer would be. So I'm feeding him that as well as the Osteoflex joint supplement. Now I feed joint supplements just more of a kind of precautionary measure, not because there's anything wrong with him. He's 11 years old, he's fit, he's well, he's healthy, but it's just to give them that little bit of extra help because Eventing is strenuous. So there we have it guys. That is my big news. I would say that's pretty big news. I'm so excited for the future. I'm gonna leave little snippets now of some very old footage that I have of Harry and myself from back in 2017, I think it was. Um, so I'll leave you to enjoy those. And so if you want to keep up with our progress, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that little ding -ling -ling notification bell is on. If you enjoyed this vlog, I really hope you do because I'm literally so excited about it. Give it a like, leave me a comment, say hello to Harry and welcome to the team. Hello Harry. And I'll see you very, very soon indeed. Goodbye. Well,